honestly think that we can all agree that the future of coasters is quite vague and unknown, and a lot of people don't know what's ahead. However, a surprise that I have for you is that I have developed a hypothesis for the future of the coaster industry for you guys. I can tell you that for sure, something is about to change greatly and manufacturer dominance will change. This has never been done before on YouTube, so a like would be greatly appreciated. Now let's get into it. The main thing I will be talking about is manufacturers. Obviously, all major manufacturers we see today will still be around, but companies like GCI, Intamin, and B&M won't have the same dominance as they do now. The manufacturer I see taking over the industry easily is SNS. SNS is a pretty good manufacturer today. I mean, we all know that, but think about it. What if I told you to name 10 SNS coasters right now? Good luck with that. However, their coasters are so incredibly unique. First, it was their 40 free spin technology, then they introduced their 40 hyper coasters, Dino Conda and Ejanaika, arguably their very finest coasters ever built. Then came their compressed air launch coasters, Max Force and Dota Dumpa, the fastest accelerations in the world. <laughs> then their crazy insane hyper coaster, Steel Curtain, with an inversion over 200 feet above the ground. <laughs> See what I mean? Now they have a literal launched axis coaster in the making. I mean, their innovations seem to be becoming limitless and are single-handedly pushing the boundaries of what is possible in roller coasters. When SNS starts producing new innovative models like crazy, I guarantee parks will buy their coasters left and right. Watch them become the most dominant coaster manufacturer by your very eyes. I also want to talk about manufacturers such as RMC, Mach, and Intamin. I already made a video about RMC, but they are the most dominant manufacturer at the moment. Until RMC increases their portfolio, manufacturers like SNS will eventually surpass them. However, RMC has the best hyper coasters in the world and possibly the first 500 foot coaster. Best of all, I think RMC's future could be very bright. I've recently seen POVs of RMC Boulder Dash and Beats, and I realize how RMC could start designing the greatest coaster on the planet with a literal Thanos snap. Personally, I think RMC should definitely do this because these animations look absolutely awesome, like they could be the best coasters in the entire world, and would definitely be great fits for both Lake Compounds and Kings Island. I also quickly want to talk about Mach because they're crazy extreme spinners. Time Traveler is one of the most consistently praised coasters in the US, and Ride to Happiness is Ride to Happiness. Mach showed the world how far they could take their extreme spinner with the success of Ride to Happiness. Finally, I want to talk about Intamin. I'm thinking about making a video on how Intamin is making a comeback, but for right now, Intamin is pretty down bad. Their relationship with Cedar Fair is basically non-existent now, and Six Flags is too broke to buy an Intamin. However, Intamin has cleaned up almost every complaint thrown at them in the past on their recent compact Blitz coasters. I can see Velocicoaster type rides landing at many Cedar Fair parks and Hershen parks in the future. The actual last manufacturer I will be talking about is Vacoma. I think every enthusiast officially owes poor Vacoma an apology. After being trashed on for years, Vacoma rebranded their whole image. They went from painful SLCs and pointless boomerang clones to some of the most promising models in the entire coaster industry, offering hyper smooth experiences with very interesting layouts. Every enthusiast now wants these in the state so badly, it's kind of funny. I'm now just going to quickly rapid fire some models that will start to gain traction over the next 10 years. RMC Raptors, the prototype models specifically will be super popular in the coming years for sure. Think about how many parks need a compact, but also cheap standout coaster. The Raptor prototypes exactly fit that criteria. I wouldn't be surprised if at least 10 Raptors were sold in the next 10 years. Bermuda Blitz. The Bermuda Blitz made its debut at Legendia, with the absolute hit of Let Coaster, and parks around America all want the Bermuda Blitz to make a splash at their park. b and Wings. b and Wing coasters are pretty popular right now, and it's pretty obvious why. They are very pleasing to the eye, and parks can get creative with them. Thunderbird has a very rare b and launch, and Gatekeeper has some of the best near misses through the keyholes of CP. Intamin Blitz. Intamin proved that they could fit a throw machine into a very small plot of land with Velocicoaster. It was the biggest hit we've seen in years, and if Pantheon is a success as well, 
don't be surprised when you see an Intamin Blitz being built at a park near you. B&M Dive. I believe that dive coasters are amazing fits for parks, as when the restraints are right, enthusiasts and the GP love these things. We have also seen parks like Alton Towers get creative with dive coasters such as Oblivion. I speculated that a B&M dive could be a replacement for a volcano in a past video, but being used creatively just like Oblivion. If one American park does this, the idea will spread like wildfire. SNS40 Hypercoaster. These things might cost more than Six Flags bank account itself, but Cedar Fair has bought three B&M gigas in the last 10 years, which actually costs more than SNS4 e coasters. Chains like Cedar Fair, Hershen, and maybe even some independent parks could be interested in one of these if their park needs an intense standout coaster. SNS Axis. Last but certainly not least is the revolutionary technology of the SNS Axis. You guys know how much I love launches and the prototype in Idaho has a pretty powerful one by the looks of it. These look like they could be placed anywhere in an either out and back layout or a compact layout. Kinda sounds like another model we talked about, doesn't it? In my eyes, the future of coasters are really bright. Comment if you agree with me. Don't forget to sub and that's all I have for today.